<laughs> hey, uh, hello all. Welcome to, uh, this is a chord explanation for that uh, Little Feet song called Willin'. Um, if you're watching this, you already know what a genius Lowell George was. <laughs> and what a waste it is that he died so young, but um, in his short time around, he left some really cool stuff. Uh, the, the intro chords are the same as the, the verse chords. Um, but but we'll walk through the whole thing in order and uh, it'll be fairly self-explanatory, I hope. In the, it starts off, it's in G, in standard tuning. Lowell worked a lot in uh, open G and sometimes open A, which is the same, just tuned up a little bit. But uh, this one's in standard tuning. And uh, it starts in sort of a, an octave G up here. So really, for when you're doing these chords, You're uh, only playing these four middle strings. You're not playing the the two E strings on the top and the bottom. So if for strumming, you're just kind of muting those. In fact, I, I mute the the two E strings. This the bottom E is muted with my thumb, and the the top E is muted with my pinky, which is also fretting this other one. So you can do a full strum like that and not get the ringing of either of the E strings. They're just muted like that. So it starts in, uh, you want to put your pinky on the B string in the 12th fret. And then two frets down from it, your pointer finger goes uh, on the A string in the 10th fret. So it'll look like that with a blank fret in between. So it starts. And the second chord is almost identical except the pointer finger only goes down one fret. So that's on the A string here. What is that? That's 12, 10, 11, 10, 9th fret. And then uh, your pinky finger stays on the, they both stay on the same strings, but uh, it goes from the 12th and the 10th fret to the 9th, or the 12, 9 and 10. So you go with no space, but no fret, open fret between them. And then slide that whole fingering position down two frets. Same thing again with no space in between them. So, so far we got. And then it goes down another, uh, it, it slides down again, but then it's back to the same fingering as the original one with a, a blank fret in between them. So we'll get to that. So on that one, your pointer finger has moved down two frets, and your pinky has only moved down one. Okay, so. Then move it all down again, two frets, with a blank space in between. So we got it. And then G, C, and slide that up to D, even with the open G string ringing. So the ending goes. And when I go up on that slide up, I'm still, I'm muting that E string, both E strings again. So you're only getting those getting that D chord with an open G in it without the E strings ringing on. I guess I suppose you could cover that G up here, but I just muted it. Um, so that's the intro. And then it goes into the I've been from C to D. G. And then it does a climb up like this. G, every kind of rig. All you're covering is that. Which is a, another way of playing a G except take both the E's off. So it's every kind of rig that's ever been C Uh, if you give me 
and then it goes to C. And then walk down that same walk up that you just did. That C to that G. That's the whole song. That's everything. Uh, if you have any questions, email me.